Hi guys, Toby here for TP23 Productions. Now, I've got a DVD review, and uh, this time around, something slightly different, uh, but it's my review of the anthology of WWE Iron Will. So, WWE Iron Will is an anthology of the WWE's toughest match. And of course, if you know uh, already what Iron Will is, it is the... Uh, DVD of the Elimination Chamber. So the DVD over three discs does contain 11 Elimination Chambers matches including a few extra uh, articles as well. So it starts off with uh, the Survivor Series first ever Elimination Chamber back in 2002 so a couple of years ago now. Uh, it's got entrants including Triple H, Shawn Michaels, Chris Jericho, Booker T, Kane and Rob Van Dam and of course uh, that was the very first one, like I've just mentioned, all the way at Survivor Series in Madison Square Garden itself. Uh, pretty cool. Uh, I think one of the best ones, actually, was New Year's Revolution back in January 9th of 2005. Uh, that had Chris Benoit in it. Now, if you're a wrestling fan, uh, then you might know that Chris Benoit is a bit overshadowed should I say in uh, recent WWE DVDs simply because of what he did in real life however it was pretty cool to see him in a DVD not gonna lie I am a bit of a fan of his apart from the uh, murder suicide that happened a few years back but it was good to see him uh, you've also got Goldberg in there I'm a massive fan of Goldberg if you didn't know um, so for him to be in the Elimination Chamber DVD is pretty cool. He's not in many DVDs nowadays. But then you got several uh, Elimination Chambers have the likes of John Cena in. Uh, you've got a few with Triple H in, Shawn Michaels in and a handful. I mean, Elimination Chamber, if you've ever seen one before, then you kind of know what's expected. There's pods, four pods, two start, six in total people. Uh, there's like two miles of chain. It weighs... 30 tons or whatever ridiculous amount it is uh, however this is a pretty good DVD it only goes up to 2010 February of 2010 uh, that's got the Elimination Chamber for the World Heavyweight Championship you've got Undertaker, Chris Jericho, John Morrison, R-Truth, CM Punk, Rey Mysterio so you've got people like that in the last one I know there are a few more after that so they will have to be individually brought but really uh, if you want an anthology of all the Elimination Chambers, and I wanted this ever since it came out, uh, then you can't go wrong, really. It's a bit of a shame, because I thought that every Elimination Chamber had a title on the line. However, uh, as I soon discovered, that every Elimination Chamber does not have a title on the line. Sometimes it does just have a match for the number one contender for their respective titles, World Heavyweight or WWE. I mean, some of the matches as well, they don't um, use the big guys well enough, really. You've got people like Big Show, Great Carly, uh, Kevin Nash, and because they're the big ones, Big Daddy V, he's in one of them. And uh, they just end up uh, used, getting everyone's finishes used on them, and then they get eliminated, which is a bit of a shame, really. You're in a closed space, you know and uh, the big guy can't sort of take advantage of it and win the world title or the WWE title inside the Elimination Chamber. I mean, the last one's good as well. I mean, there was a twist at, at the end, which I didn't remember, and I forgot was going to happen. So, I mean, that was pretty good to uh, watch it and see the end result, really. But you've got people like Sheamus as well. Never been in an Elimination Chamber. He comes in. And uh, yeah, it did pretty well, really. This was back when he was first starting. Uh, it was in 2010, actually. And uh, yeah, it was pretty good to see him in, in the heel sort of uh, aspect of his character. Pretty good. Uh, I mean, I've mentioned it before. I'm a big fan of the animation chamber. It's quite brutal. Uh, people get thrown through the plexiglass and uh, the pods that are two inches of thick bulletproof glass and yet the wrestler still gets thrown through them and they bang on the side and uh, you know move it so apparently they're pretty tough however a good punching of uh, the wrestler on the pod does seem to make it move 
So I think the uh, commentators are a bit exaggerant when it comes to uh, describing how bulletproof the pods are. Uh, but the chain, I mean, you get mashed up on that. There are some good moves with John Morrison, Kofi Kingston, Rey Mysterio. Uh, they like to climb up it. Even Rob Van Dam, for example, yeah, they climb up it and jump off. So that's good to see. But overall, if you like uh, WWE, you like them. I know you've got Triple H, Edge, Jeff Hardy, RVD, uh, Chris Jericho, CM Punk, Shawn Michaels, Undertaker. They're in, they're in a handful of these. Even Randy Orton. Um, it's good to see them all enclosed in a big elimination chamber, really. Uh, I like it. I love the elimination chamber. Great idea. Whoever came up with it, well done. I think it was Eric Bischoff, or maybe he's taking the credit. I don't know. But I'm well. If you like Elimination Chamber and WWE Anthology DVDs, then this is definitely for you. So, thanks for watching my review of it. Hope you enjoy it. Um, maybe you'll be able to pick it up pretty cheap. I got mine for about six quid, so I thought that was a bit of a bargain. Uh, impulse buy. But, hope you like it. Thank you for watching my review of WWE Iron Will. Don't forget, guys, all the links of We The Devoted Gear is down below. Get yourself a nice t-shirt like the one I'm wearing right now. Use promo code TOBYWTD, gets you 20% off. All the links down below. But, guys, really, thank you for watching my review of WWE Anthology Iron Will. Hope you enjoy it. Thanks for watching.